And our final senior, the Red Hawks record breaking running back from Peoria, Illinois, number six, Gino Hess. Gino Hess for the touchdown. Number six, Gino Hess on the carry. Pass to play to number six, Gino Hess. Number six, Gino Hess on the carry. 43 yard run by number six, Gino Hess on the touchdown. First SEMO player ever to surpass 4,000 career rushing yards. The SEMO and OVC single game rushing yards record from the Murray State game last weekend, 317. Then comes the points, the all-time OVC scoring record we just mentioned. And along the way, Hess broke SEMO's career rushing and total touchdowns record this season at Lindenwood. Quite the list for Geno Hess. Um, I feel great. It's just a great feeling that all the work you put in since you were a freshman and being able to break all those records, especially with a good group of guys I'm doing it with, so I'm just thankful for it at the end of the day. My biggest challenges would be just um, not getting too worked up, not letting things get to me so easily, and being, being able to just uh, handle certain situations. Um, my greatest strength is just being a positive person at the end of the day. My cup is never half empty, it's always half full, so I was looking on the bright side of things. Passing the previous record of 322 set by Marcus Thomas from Eastern Kentucky in 1992. A record that stood for 30 years. That was a surreal moment just knowing like it actually happened and how it happened. And the people I did it in front of were all there to see it. I didn't even know that I uh, had a touchdown record or there was uh, such, a, such an animal. But uh, I'm glad someone even knows I'm alive now and is still kicking and doing well. Yeah, I'm glad for him. I think it helps me. It helps me make a better football player. So I say I'm under pressure. I just play my best game at the end of the day. Due to the NCAA's policy from during COVID, whether or not he actually returns, Hess will go down as one of the all-time SEMO greats. I actually kind of got to give COVID a lot of credit. I feel like... It gave me a lot of time to actually work on my craft and work on different things, part of uh, football and also the mental aspect of things in life. Five to ten years, hopefully, I didn't have a successful NFL career, a family, and just being able to look back at the opportunities that I have created for me and my family. Just so proud of him. You know, people don't understand all the adversity he had when he first got here. He wasn't even good enough to play for us. He redshirted. His entire career with SEMO has been an upward trajectory, and that was on display on the national stage. I like to listen to a lot of music to keep me focused. Um, I just started listening listen to certain podcasts on YouTube, so I just like just to stay home and chill for the most part. There's no other place I'd rather be. I'm glad I came here. I'm glad Coach Took and uh, his coaches believed in me when nobody else did, and I'd rather, not be, I'd rather be here every day of the week.